I am Baek. Aya sent me to speak to Apollodorus. Shh. I'm sure you can appreciate that my master takes precautions concerning those he meets. I have a question only he can answer. I will tell him you seek his counsel, and that Aya recommends you. Wait for tonight. If he sees fit to meet you, you will be found near the lighthouse then. Until then, the Hippodrome's commemorating one of its greatest racers. Plenty of drinking and festivities, along with the races themselves, of course, if that appeals. His name was Icarus, the glory of the raucous Hippodrome, the much loaded and short life beloved of Canopus. <laughs> Out of my way! Doros. You there! Are you here to kill me or to be my friend? Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah, then your help, please. You are I as Magi, huh? Any other survivors? Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll? What of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? I've killed you, Doros. Huh? Well done. He was the snake, yes? Man to man, Bayek, there is much you have yet to understand. <laughs> man to man, I need an answer. Well, I must take the measure of you first. Rescue the masters and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that Aya claims you to be. Ah. 
Where is this Damastis? He should be on the dock. Hey, hold on! Time is up! Ha! Out of here! Don't forget about me! Thank you. It was very unpleasant in there. You have killed them all. Bastards, they deserve to die. Get me to a safe place, then we will talk. Thank you. 
I was going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of his all. Hey, stop! Apollodorus sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is this ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. a scroll. Neck. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I will tell you that the addition to Eudorus put an end to the Philakatai of Alexandria. Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Felakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy. You will learn more at the villa. enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. 
Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly. In measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. <laughs> Catch me! Catch me! Come here, both of you! Yes! She I'm caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't wait. She doesn't hold the crowd. Please! Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xantivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek My queen, this is... Uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life. To this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region. But they have been unable to touch the Order. Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages. Yet, a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself, the one called the Lizard, has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our son Shed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt.
so it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow, Bayek, what good fortune! I thought it would be years before we saw you again. Hail in peace, Menahet. How is your family? <laughs> the children seem to grow larger by the minute. My wife and I have our hands full. And you, is there any news of... None. I forget myself. There are so many things in your life best not spoken of. Forgive me. I see by your garb that you have been promoted. Ah, yes. The High Priest, in his grace, made me his second. And my rank is not the only thing he has changed. You must see the temple. You will give me a tour? Of course, of course. At the moment of your pleasure. Ready to see our beautiful temple? After you, Menehet. Or is it servant of the goddess? Menehet will do for one as good as family. This is far from the sorry ruin of my last visit. Yamu now plays constant host to ceremonies showing our rustic way of life, which attract many visitors with more gold than sense. Uh, a description well suited to Alexandrians. How does this sit with your faith? I confess that my thoughts are sometimes uneasy. Why have you left your mother's side? Pick me up, Uncle Bayek! Ah, see now, there's no need to attack a man from behind. We're not numbering him four to one. Huh? You 
taught us to secure every advantage possible over a dangerous foe. Yes, yes, yes. And I am very dangerous! <laughs> Hide well, for the wanderer stalks your path! Come down from here. This would be a good place to watch the stars. Only the priests are permitted here. You know that. Yes, but I want to see if. Hush. Come down now. We can watch stars from the riverbank. Come away from there, Naila. You're getting in the priest's way. Are you hired? Harunake Bunti! Sheba, what in the name of the gods are you doing down there? I wanted to hide, but now I can't get back out. I'm scared. Stay calm. I will help you out of there. Ah, this way. Thank you, Uncle Bayek. That's the last of the children. I will tell Menehet that the children are safe. Shemeni Nesu. Tonight. Look at this. Fraud abounds in your market. And you claim you can do nothing? The dealings of the market are beyond me. Speak rather to the offending merchant. <laughs> Priest, you have proven as false as your mummies. Menahet, your brood is delivered safely home. Thank you, friend. Uh, what did that fool want with you? Some visitors, having purchased religious objects, are angry when our village has no more dead cats to sell them. Though not a merchant, I am often the means by which the aggrieved snuff their anger. This matter needs a firm hand. That was the fourth tourist this week to shout at me. Oh. Ah, me. This looks like a child made it. These cat mummies are false. Greetings. I am. You have come to the right place, Neb. We have everything you could possibly want. What I want is to ask about false idols sold at the market. I have heard rumors of such, but there is nothing to them. Now leave, if you want to avoid trouble. You filthy naked yadet! How dare you try to trick me into paying for this junk! These cat mummies are false! Tell me of the fake mummies being sold here. I have no desire to be dragged into this. Menahed sent me. Your silence is an insult to his holy office. Uh, I wish to anger neither him nor the gods. We are forced to sell items of lesser quality. 
or see our stones destroyed. Who is behind this? I can say no more now. Let us meet tonight, where the village turns to farmland. My friend, I am glad to see you have kept our appointment. Come, sit with me and share a drink of wine. I do not have time for that. <sighs> it is a beautiful night. Let us enjoy the coolness of the air for a moment before turning to business. Merchant, I am not here to take in the air. Who is behind the traffic of false icons? Well, you see, it is no simple story. There are many involved in this terrible affair, but they would all tell you the same thing. Pity the trusting man, for he suffers great pain. Seek evil, and you will always find it. Eat shit, Medjay Scum. Over here! Go, brothers! who fights as well as you can perhaps afford to be trusting. Talk, or you will meet the same fate as your friends. That will not be necessary. Among the dunes, southeast of here, is the bandit camp where the fake mummies are made. I suppose you would go and destroy it now. Better I smash the camp than your head. Destroying these forgeries will earn the favor of the gods. As Ra lives, what a disgrace. Looks clear.
careful now. Hold! Hold there! is done. Ow. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Can I ease the burdens of an old friend? Tonight, we will stage a grand spectacle. Our goddess Sekhmet defends the people against Isfet's chaos. But Pamu, our champion, is nowhere to be found. The High Priest will judge me responsible for his absence. I'll have a look. Sekhmet bless you. His home is near the market, but check the tavern first. It pains me to ask you for a further favor. Hamu does like a drink now and again.
This must be Pamu. Ugh. A man stinks of beer. Oh, thank you. I've been trying to get him to leave for hours. Out of the way! Menahat. That is Pamu! What has happened to him? His passion for toasting Sekhmet has exceeded his head for drink. This is a disaster! People have come from the Red Land and the Black to see him fight! If a fight is all that is needed, I could replace him. Of course, Magi. You honor yourself in saving me from disgrace. Speak to the High Priest in the Temple Courtyard. He will take care of the rest. Your Holiness, I am here to fight for Sekhmet. You're not Pamu. He was meant to play Sekhmet. Pamu is... ill. He is recovering at the temple. Fine. Follow me. Receive a fine tribute. Beloved of Sekhmet, who illumines the double land with her flame, we give thanks for your presence on this sacred night. We invite your witness on the solemnity of our. Should malice cling too strongly to your hearts, Isfet, the evil one, shall smite the goddess. Ah! Condemn Yamu to a hundred seasons of darkness! But should your hearts be pure, the goddess shall favor us, shielding us from the obscurity of chaos! <laughs> 